Here we have a Tecumseh H35 flathead motor, and I'm going to show you how to set the ignition points. Uh, we're going to make this thing run like a fat man at the candy store. So, uh, what we're dealing with are these little ignition points right here. They open and close. Here's a, here's a set off another motor I have. It's those little pins in there. Um, the third, first thing you want to do is set your ignition points to 20,000. So, I'll take a feeler gauge, um, make sure it's kind of snug in there, loosen that bolt right there, and then you can open and close it um, to tighten up your, your gap there. But set that to 20 thousandths. And then what we're going to be setting today is the coil itself. You can see it's got slots in there where you can rotate a little bit. Um, a Briggs and Stratton, a Kohler motor, they only have breaker points in like that, so they're much easier to set uh, just to get them running. But uh, Tecumseh is a lot better or a lot nicer for um, a high performance application like racing or pulling or something because you can advance the timing through the coil um, a lot easier than a breaking strat or a puller. So, uh, once you have your, your point set to 20 thousandths, you're gonna um, turn it, turn your uh, motor over to top dead center, which is right there. Right there, get back to it. Right there. And then put a, a dial indicator on the piston, make sure you're zeroed out. That looks pretty good there. And then um, for these motors, it calls, oops, move it there. For these motors, it calls for 80 thousandths before top dead center. So turn it counterclockwise until your needle oops, goes where you want it. Now, uh, this thing's being picky. Now my dial indicator is upside down, so. Um, it's not going to read 80 up there, it's actually going to read 20 thousandths down here because from 0 you're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, like that. So um, once you're set on 80 thousandths for top dead center like that, um, make sure you have your coil bolts loose and there's one there and one there so you can rotate it back and forth like that. And then you're going to hook up. Um, I like to use a ohms meter to do this. I can be a lot more accurate with it. but. For this video's purposes, I'm gonna use a test light so you guys can see. But um, I'm gonna turn turn the coil this way, like that, and the light should go out um, right where we want to time it. The manual says 80 thousandths before top dead center. Your breaker point should just be opening. So um, if I did this right, when I turn it back that way, the light should go out right as they're opening. So yeah, right there. So right there, we're going to tighten up uh, the two, two bolts holding your coil on there. And grab a wrench here. So you watch, watch the breaker points right there. Right as they're opening, your light should be going off. So uh, that is set properly. That's all we gotta do there. Now this thing should run really good. Um, how they had the coil set on this, the bolt was all the way over here in the corner. It was way off. Still ran. I'm not sure how, but it ran like crap. So um, anyway, that's how you set the ignition time on one of these Tecumseh motors.